Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to be checking how to create water inside Unreal 4.26. For this water tutorial we are going to check some of the new features that are coming inside the latest version of Unreal. Now let's start. So as a start, I have here a project that I just created. It's a completely empty project. The only thing which I have here is uh, the third person. And there are a few things that we need to enable before you can see the latest changes into water. So what we need to do is go to edit and go to plugins. Here from the plugins, there are a few things that we need to enable. I'm going to search for water. So you can see here that we have water and that it's an experimental thing, so it's version 0.1. So this means that you can expect a little bit of a crashes or some other features that will be changed. But overall, it works pretty well. And also there's tons of different settings and tons of different things that we can change. So we need to enable it. And the other thing that we need to enable as well is land. So you can see that there is this plugin called land mass and it works together with our water so this is uh, going to be like when we built already our terrain our land and then the water all the interactions and everything in between those two so we are enabling that one as well and now unreal will tell us in the bottom that we need to restart the unreal engine so that everything takes effect we're going to restart it and meanwhile whilst rebooting you can like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet so now Unreal already restarted, you can see that uh, it opened once again our plugins, we can close it and as well you can see that on the bottom here we are going to have some shaders that will need compiling. It depends of course of your specification, how much time it's going to take, but overall it should be pretty fast. So now let's start and make a new scene. First I'm going to just click file new level and I'm going to select the one which has the time of day so that we can tweak a little bit after that the lights. And now that we have it, I'm just going to delete this uh, box. We don't really need it because we are going to initially create a terrain. I'm going into modes, then landscape. And let's, yeah, let's create uh, what we see at the moment, uh, like by default. So I'm just going to click create. And what I'm going to do is go out for a second from this mode and I'm just going to select I'm actually going to delete those two and then I'm going to grab all the other elements like this move them a little bit up because we want to make a small island over here and now I'm going back to landscape then I'm going for scoped and we are going to lift this a little bit let's say like that let's not make it completely same i'll just do it like this okay great we have uh, everything done you can see that uh, shaders are still compiling but once they are done compiling i'm going to add already the water now i got everything recompiled so what we're gonna do is go to all classes and here I'm going to type water and you can see that we have quite a lot of different types of water that we can select. So we have water body, we have islands, lakes, oceans, rivers and so on. If you're interested in me making a tutorial on some of the other topics like for example for rivers or making lakes, please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to do that. But today what we are going to be checking is going to be the ocean. So what we need to do is now just I need to grab it and drag and drop it into our scene. It will again recompile a little bit of shaders. It will happen pretty fast. But now what you can see is that we have those yellow lines. These are some boundary boxes around our terrain. And we can use those to control them to specify where exactly is our island and where the water starts and all these things. So we are going to do that just in a second, right after the shaders recompile. Shaders finished recompiling, so now we can already start editing our water. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to edit where exactly our island is. So I'm going to grab those and move them around the island 
One thing that I wanted to remind you is that this is an experimental feature, it's still in beta. So this is something which, if it doesn't work for you, I had a few times some issues of it not running very well in the beginning. You can delete it and then just click undo and this resolved some of the problems if it doesn't update or for example if it doesn't show initially but yeah just you need to delete it and after that everything will work fine so uh, now once we selected it you can see that it's a little bit clipping here but uh, we just need to move the terrain down so i'm just going to go quickly into landscape and move the terrain down and we are going to sculpting and then i'm just going to make my brush bigger so this way i can dig it like this down great and then i'm going to use flat just so that we cover the rest of the area perfect so now what i can do as well is i can actually update the size of our water since i already moved some of the things around and let's move this as well so that uh, unreal knows what are the boundaries of our island like that it will uh, make a lot of sense for the waves and everything else which is uh, happening so what we did so far you can see that we have a pretty good water it's a little bit cartoonish but uh, this is some things that uh, we can tweak of course in the shader but overall the whole thing is uh, looks already fine and you can see that the waves and even if i go uh, underneath the water it looks pretty good it has uh, all the effects and everything uh, already set it up. So this is great. Let's now select the actor for our water and go to details. And we are going to go into some of the settings that we actually can tweak. So once you have it selected in details, I'm just going to move it a little bit like that. We see it's a little bit better. Here in details, we can change quite a lot of different parameters. For today, I'm going to talk mostly about one parameter. And this is how to control our waves. So this is done, if we scroll down, we should find a file, this one, wave source. You can see that here there is a water wave asset reference and we can actually search for where this file is. So if I expand it here, you can see that uh, we have this file and I can search where exactly in the editor it is. And then I can duplicate it. So we are going to duplicate and then I'll write custom. And if we open it, it will give us this menu where here in waves, if we expand all the settings, you can see that uh, there's quite a lot of different settings that we can do for our waves. So I'm just going to move this over here so that we see a little bit better our changes. And as well, I'm going to drag our custom one into our wave asset so that it's the proper one and we see all the changes. And now, for example, we can change the number of waves. It's default 16 let's make it 12 so you can see that uh, it will be like a lot less and as well we can uh, put for wavelength like with minimum maximum and a lot of different parameters let's start uh, tweaking some of those and see what effects we are gonna get i'm going to make them so that we have bigger waves than uh, what we have at the moment so let's go 248 and this one here i'm going to make it to 8000 and now you have a lot bigger waves then another thing that i wanted to tweak is to do our uh, altitude so i'm going to make it so that it has we can have some very huge waves and also we are not going to have those small ones so i'm just going to do it like 50 and now we can see that uh, it became quite it didn't become very friendly see but uh yeah i'll uh, i'll tweak it down because i think it's a little bit too much so let's make it 100 and here i'm going to make it a 20 so like this it's uh yeah a little bit better then we have uh, direction so this is direction that uh, we can change exactly on what angles that way if they're going to be spawned and how they're going to be moving in the space uh steepness as well is something which is going to control of this point over here how high it gets and uh, how yeah, steep it gets so we are going to be able to control those as well and fall off and many other different things and as well you can see that if you don't want to spend a lot of time of tweaking those settings and uh, customize them initially you can just go into some of the random seeds so for example let's say i can put 12 it will randomize 
and uh, see what exactly we like uh, and how we like everything to be uh, running. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. I hope that it was helpful and useful for you. I'm very curious how you're gonna apply the things that you learned today for creating water inside Unreal 4.26. So join Upside Downs Reddit and make a post there with the results that you got. Thank you for joining. See you next time.